Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today I want to show you kind of a three-in-one tip about these two fields, created ad and last modified ad, which you may want to show in the edit form, but only in the edit form, not in the create form, just as a text instead of text inputs. And the inspiration comes from Benjamin's blog, which is open source, so you can study that and I will link that in the description below. Here's the code, which I modified a bit in my demo. So let's take a look. This is a form for post like a blog or CMS. Again, this is how it looks. And there are a few groups, sections, inputs and stuff like that. And then in one of the section on the right, we have author and published ad. So these two fields. And then within the same section, we have this. So let's dissect step by step. Let's close the sidebar to just show the text on the page in the form. You may have just placeholders placeholder created ad, which will be just this with content of whatever you want. And that content may be from the same record, like an edit page. We just show post created ad with some format, however you want. Interestingly, if that is a create form, that created ad is null, which means this question mark will save you from errors. So by the way, I didn't show you, but in the post edit, those fields are visible. But if you click new post, as you can see, they are not even here. So let's get to that we can do for each placeholder visible and then some condition when it is visible but also you may have a group so if you have some kind of setting which is not for individual inputs but instead for several like in this case so you need to make both visible or hidden on some condition for that you use group make schema what's inside and then add your condition to the group now instead of repeating the same thing for individual fields. So this is the condition hidden and this is the third trick operation. By default methods like hidden or visible the opposite method have operation variables by default which is create, edit and other values. So you return hidden true if operation is create. So yeah to recap three in one tips. First, use placeholders to show some text values in the forms, then use groups if you have the same settings for a few inputs. And the third one, make it hidden or visible depending on the operation like create. That's it for this video. Subscribe to the channel to get more tips like this one and see you guys in those other videos.